Yeah, with joy, we bring light, we bring love into this transmission. Inviting you as always to take a deep breath in, to breathe out, to center yourself into your heart so you can easily and fully embody this transmission. And please take one more deep breath in, gently breathe out. Allow your body to relax. And we thank you very much for bringing in the topic that you uh, that you have mentioned today. Um, we know that you have connected with this intention through the Pleiadian realm as one of our um, missions, of our purposes, is to uh, teach human beings how to expand their consciousness. It is the time to remember that the qualities that you have mentioned about are all natural. And it was the time when all of you were, were able to use these gifts in a playful way and as well with the intention of helping each other and remaining connected. What you started to do nowadays is instead of using your ability uh, to feel each other, to connect at very subtle levels, what you might call telepathy, uh, you have replaced that with using your technologies, uh, using uh, artificial uh, ways of communicating uh, that uh, lower uh, your ability to step into those very subtle uh, energy fields that you are meant to use and to, to bring further in, into your reality. Therefore, our intention is not to increase the ego mind and to uh, give the impression that one is more special than another but to actually remember that you are source, that nothing is limited, and that your um, ability to um, be truly empathic uh, shall increase at this time, uh, also with the intention of um, uh, shifting for the three-dimensional mind to the fifth-dimensional one, which doesn't ever harm because it knows that the other is also himself or herself. As these abilities start to develop once more, instead of going one against each other, becoming so empathic, will not allow one to move into that direction anymore. Which means that whenever one will try to harm another being, that one will feel it in his, her own body immediately. And this is because the sixth sense will open up. This is why our intention, our mission, or one of our missions at this time is to teach those like you, who have this who have acquired this knowledge before to bring it back on the planet not to show one that he or she is special but to remind humanity that this is how you truly are we are going to kindly share with you today some of the qualities that can be acquired at this time uh, what are those actions that are highly beneficial? Uh, and what would be the steps to uh, start developing into that direction? Uh, firstly, we um, invite you to, uh, to tell yourself, to tell your mind that you've always knew how to um uh, how to uh, tap into these qualities and to bring them further. 
that this is not a new knowledge, it's not something that you acquire right now. Secondly, um, we invite you to embrace an intention, a purpose, which will stay beyond your actions, uh, to decide why would you like to have uh, such qualities and to see if uh, your purpose resonates with ours. Then we will invite you to tell yourself and to step into that side of yourself, which is space, which is not limited, which is not identified with anything. Just to see that this is what you truly are. That you're not this body, nor the mind, not the person, but you are reality itself with everything which is perceived and which is not perceived. Therefore, whenever you wish to know where a certain object might be, which is at a distance from your body, whenever you would wish to see where a person is, whenever you would wish to transmit a message in a telepathic way, and so on, you do so knowing that that intention already and automatically creates it because you, not you as the mind, but you as source are this reality. Therefore, it's not you, the mind, searching for something outside the mind, but it's your reality bringing further that something from within. Whatever you're looking for, whatever you're trying, you're wishing to manifest is within yourself. This entire world is within yourself. This is the major truth in which you, we invite you to tap in before you start developing these qualities. As you discover more and more that this entire reality, entire world is within you, you realize that whatever your mind thinks, whatever intention you bring in, it automatically manifests right from within. Then, let's say that you would wish to develop your ability to observe objects which are not in your field, which are not close to you. We would invite you to take this as a practice. Firstly, to realize that this ability, these abilities do not open up from one day to another without practice. But the intention of doing so will automatically bring the results. So whenever you wish, for example, to discover how, where an object would be, which we encourage you to start with, we would recommend to ask a friend of yours to hide a certain object in a room. And then we will invite you to remain outside that room in a state of meditation. Please remember that remote viewing happens in the theta and gamma state. Therefore, our encouragement is to shift your brain waves to these states of mind. And then to gently ask yourself, to simply ask yourself the question, where is that object? And just to observe the first answer that your mind brings to you. It, it might show you through a word or it might show you through an image. If it does it through a word, we encourage you to automatically bring next to it the image so you can switch from thinking into words, into language, to thinking in images. Then we invite you to continue this simple practice by asking your friends, your family, your beloved ones, whoever you wish to, to hide different objects for you so you can ask the question and see where they are and how close you get to the result. 
We also share with you there might be situations when your friends or members of your family or so on lose uh, one of their objects or one important item for them. In this case as well, we invite you to do the same practice. And even if you have no clue at all, even if it's the object would not be in your home, we still invite you to uh, go into the theta or gamma state to ask the question and see immediately what comes up. Uh, you'd most probably need quite some uh, uh, trials and we invite you to collect data for your trials so you can see uh, how much you advance and in which situations. You might wish as well to notice if a certain vibration is important to you and to learn how to simply bring that vibration back because you have recognized that that is, that is the vibration, the frequency in which your mind recognizes uh, the location um, easier. Some people, for example, would just go in a trance state and say, now I'm activating my ability, my remote viewing ability, or now I'm gently shifting into the theta state or into the gamma state. Each person decides for his or her own key that activates that frequency. We also share with you that if you notice that no progress would be done, then our encouragement is to spend more time in meditation and then to do these exercises when you get out of your meditation. This is when the mind will be still and this is when you'll be able to trigger uh, the gamma brainwaves um, in an easy way. We also share with you that uh, when you would wish to recognize a certain location, for example, a friend of yours is visiting a place and you have never been there, but you would like to tap into his or her own consciousness and then to be able to see all around him or her. Then our encouragement, our recommendation is to connect with a friend of yours who is close to you, with whom you feel that you already have a certain connection. And then to kindly ask that person to move to that specific location that you have never visited before. It doesn't matter at all if it's in the same city or, it's if, or even if it's in the same country. All that it matters and it would be helpful in this uh, phase uh, would be for that person to be close enough to you. Uh, then we would invite you to tap into the same trance state, the same theta state. And then to visualize how the, pl the place will look. Firstly, your intuition will bring up, most probably it will bring up objects from that place. Objects that might seem to be separated from anything else. Your consciousness might also tell you uh, what is the mat material which is mostly used there for, for the objects which are present, for example, being metal or wood or any other uh, material. At times, it might even select uh, very uh, specific signs or symbols which are there just because your consciousness knows that those are important for you. It might, for example, your friend might be in a you know, certain park uh, and your mind uh, might bring to you, firstly, a, a red dot, even if it doesn't have a certain importance, but this is what it might have uh, noticed from the entire environment. Therefore, um, um, our suggestion is to go on 
And just to be aware that firstly, your consciousness will bring up that which seems to be familiar to you. If it has absolutely uh, no awareness about it, we encourage you to draw it, to try to make a drawing because there will be situations uh, that um, in which you'll have the location but if your mind is not really accustomed with the environment there or the objects around, uh, well, um, not uh, translate that information into language. Therefore, in this case, it's really useful to draw. Right from the beginning, if you feel like, we uh, recommend to make drawings uh, because this is a more sensitive way, more subtle way of bringing that information. Please have fun with it. Remember to really enjoy it, to take it as a game. And please remember that it needs practice. Uh, when you wish to develop uh, telepathic skills, Um, we share with you that telepathy happens in the theta state. It doesn't happen at all in, in the beta state. For telepathy to take place, it's important for both people who wish to connect with one another to reach the theta, um, to access um, the theta brain waves to determine the, the theta brain waves. Therefore, if you wish to practice, we encourage you to practice with a friend who is able to bring herself or himself into trance as well. And then you might wish to start by sending simple messages to this friend of yours. Firstly, you might wish for your friend to be in front of you or as close as it can be to you, then please do not start with language. Please remember the main um, way of communicating is not through language. This is how what this is what humanity has developed. <laughs> Telepathy doesn't happen uh, by using language. It can happen though, but it's not a natural way of doing it. Therefore, when you send a message to your friend, please send a certain image, uh, like a symbol, a geometry, or a simple item. You might even wish to visualize that item uh, being a three-dimensional one. Sometimes you might try it out with a word, uh, but uh, the chances for uh, transmitting uh, words and uh, sentences further are not very high. Therefore, we encourage you to start with images and visualization of what you want to share. Uh, we encourage you and your friend to write it down in the same time to see if it worked out or to or to ask your friend uh, what she has uh, received, what she, what, what she could read. When you send the message, it is very important not to think to anything else than the message that you wish to send which means that if your message has to do with the key, then you'll keep the visualization of the key in your mind with the intention of uh, connecting it with your friend. And you will not do anything else. There will be no other thoughts rising. This means that uh, one needs to be able to maintain maintain a pure theta state. As well with uh, practicing, with exercising, 
the results uh, can be uh, can be amazing. We encourage you to do one more exercise. And as well, if you wish to practice with other friends, that might be more enjoyable. And that exercise is very simple. Uh, we would ask you to have a deck of cards. Uh, and there are two, two ways in which you can do it. You can make your own cards and have numbers from 1 to 10. Or you can choose a normal deck of cards having uh, the, um, uh, the entire deck there. And then we encourage you to shuffle the, the cards to place them in front of you. Then to get back into the theta state, into the trance state. And before you get the next card, and you can get it from the top of the cards, you can get it from the middle or from wherever you wish to, but we encourage you to see what that card would be. Please take into consideration if your intention is, I want to guess what the next card would be, then you would not really guess. But if your intention says, I am creating this here and now, so I know that next card will be a tree of diamond, then this is what you're going to manifest. This is also a great way of learning further how to manifest. You can start, for example, with the first simple deck of cards that you build by yourself, that you create by yourself. And then you can shift that to the normal, the usual deck of cards. So you can um, enhance the difficulty of the practice. Please remember, there is no way of guessing. You are not guessing, you are creating. And this entire reality is, is a spontaneous creation. This is available for each and every practice that we have shared with you. Please keep the intention, keep the um, knowledge that I'm not guessing, I'm not observing, I'm not trying to discover, but I am creating here and now. Whenever you want to shift the quality of certain objects, we would encourage you not to start with trying to move objects and mostly not to try to uh, start with objects which have a certain weight, but rather to uh, start with uh, simpler things, things like changing the temperature of water or changing um, uh, the alkalinity of water. bringing a wave of warmth in the room or cold, like a current, changing the temperature of the room where you are. Changing the color of an object and that would be easier if you start with the color of water. which would mean to add a certain color in the water and then to change it. You might wish to observe if your mind can influence the electricity input because that would be the uh, easiest way of interacting uh, with energy. Um, 
there are specific uh, devices that can immediately measure how the electrical uh, current and its intensity change. Um, we uh, we would uh, highly support you to try it out uh, in this way. Thank you very much for receiving all this information. We mostly thank you for your playfulness and your intention of um, reactivating these gifts within yourself. We thank you for uh, your intention to practice, uh, to enjoy these new qualities, and to uh, share them further as well. We thank you, we love you, we love you, we love you.